What's going on everyone, Sebastian here. Today I have a super awesome training for you. Today I'm gonna to talk about product photography. There's also another term I call, but we're about to go over, and it's called CCRR, okay? And basically what your CCRR score is on a scale from one to 10, is basically judging how valuable your product is and how differentiated your product is on the Amazon marketplace. I'm gonna tell you why this is important. And it all starts with photography, okay? So photography plays a huge role in your listings conversions. Now you do need SEO, obviously, you need a good title, you need, it needs to flow and, and, and it needs to be readable. However, the pictures will say a thousand words and you must get professional photography. Now I am also happy to announce before I get into this training that Zon Rush now offers professional photography to Amazon sellers. You know, we have high quality work. It's a portfolio uh, my team has been working on in the back end and we're finally releasing it to everyone. It's been primarily for some of our larger clients and now we've built a strong portfolio. We have amazing photographers. So now I'm excited to offer now product photography uh, for your Amazon businesses, okay? So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the product training here. So what a good professional photographer, what a good professional photo says about your listing is professionalism, simply put, okay? And what that does is, and think about it yourself, when you're shopping on Amazon, even though, are you looking, are you looking, ask yourself, are you looking at the title? I'm sure you're, you are looking at the title, you want to make sure you're getting the right, um, product, right? It has to have everything that you're looking for. The title's definitely important. But what primarily is going to be grabbing your attention are reviews and the images. And that's why this is so important, okay? So what images do is one, they increase your conversions. And as you know, an increase in conversions equals an increase in dough. And the, the longer your conversions increase, the more conversions you're going to get over time because it's a flywheel, right? A flywheel continually gets better from a previous action, right? Amazon, the marketplace is a flywheel. As more sellers enter the marketplace, there's better deals for customers. When there's better deals for customers, more customers come to the marketplace. When more customers come to the marketplace, more sellers come to the marketplace to service those customers. As you can see, it, it gets better and better and better over time. So. With just having amazing uh, photographs on your listing, your conversions are going to increase, and this is vitally important, especially for a product launch, okay? Your listing could be, you know, professionally written, it's on point SEO, you launch, you get ranked. Uh, there's gonna be a few factors that are, that are gonna indicate whether you stay ranked or not, but one of the biggest factors is actually gonna be your product photography. And I always recommend you have at least two hero images two hero images. That way you can split test because you're not gonna know what the market wants when it comes to tapping on your product and buying your product, right? You need to have two main images that you rotate um, to make sure that, okay, you know what your winner is based on conversions. And I've actually gone over this particular detail in a, path, in a previous training, okay? You'll need one main image for 30 days and split test the second image the following 30 days and measure your conversion rate, okay? So the more conversions you get, the higher you stay, the more you stay ranked, the higher you rank for other keywords, the more money you make, okay? Boom, photography. CTR, CTR is one of those unsung heroes that Amazon sellers really need to master. And when you have amazing photography, your PPC costs go down because more people are gonna be clicking on your ad, okay? so. Your, CT, your CTR for PPC, CTR just stands for a click-through rate. For your Amazon PPC, will go up, okay? So that's what you want. You want your CTR to continually go up. That way your costs go down. Amazon is saying, okay, you know, we've serviced a thousand impressions and per 1,000 impressions, you've had a 20% click-through rate. That means your costs are gonna go down with PPC, and it's not because your, your title was optimized, which it should be. It's primarily gonna be because you had amazing photography. You had, you had a captivating image 
that sparked an emotional response in a customer which led them to click on your product. Amazon's gonna see that people are loving your product and they're gonna bring your costs down. So as you can see, product photography even affects your PPC scores, okay, your, your CTR. So it's very important to measure. Reviews, ask yourself this. Would you leave a review? Maybe the product you got was good, but would you leave a review on a product that looks pretty ugly, right? Maybe the background's not white. It looks like they took it in the garage with a makeshift white background. You know, there's still a ton of listings like that, which could be an amazing opportunity for you if you come to the market with not only a better product, but a more professionally designed product to please the aesthetics, okay? Ask yourself, when people, well, would you leave a review on an ugly product? Probably not. Maybe if it, you know, changed your life, you, you might leave it, I don't know. But for the most part, people don't leave reviews on ugly looking products. But if you sparked that emotional um, response in a customer because they saw your picture, it sparked emotion, you gave them exactly what they wanted and it looked beautiful, they're more likely to leave you, they're more likely going to leave you, right? Hopefully a five-star review. Have a good product to, to earn that, okay? So reviews and recommendability. Now I Googled this, it, I think it is a word, but not very used, but if it isn't a word, I'm gonna make my own word, recommendability, okay? I like to think I made this word up to complete my CCRR formula, but essentially what recommendability is, is if you have an aesthetically pleasing product, right? How likely are people going to recommend it? Okay, how likely are they to tell their friends or family, like, look at how beautiful this product is, what a great deal, it looks amazing, the, the pictures are, are gorgeous. Your score for recommendability goes up, right? So I hope I'm starting to make in, uh, I'm hope I'm starting to make sense because you need recommendability in order for your product to gain or organic traction faster. You can muscle your way in there through strong launches. And you can also muscle your way in there through PPC, but you also want to leverage word of mouth traffic. And people recommend great products that are aesthetically pleasing and of course high quality and met their needs but beautiful products do extremely well. And that all starts with having amazing product photography. This is one of the most underrated aspects of selling on Amazon. People are worried about, and rightfully so, you need to worry about having a strong launch, PPC, you need to have all these things in motion, you need to be optimized, SEO front and back end, all that good stuff. But the pictures, ask yourself, we, are visual creatures for the most part. We like beauty. I think it was Plato, he says, oh no, one of my mentors, Terence McKenna, but he was quoting the great philosopher Plato. And he says, the true, tricky, tricky. The good, what is it? Tricky, tricky. The beautiful, easy to discern, okay? Easy to discern. Aesthetics equals cash. Say that to yourself. Aesthetics equals cash. There's, and that's, you know, it's, it's super simple because with aesthetics, people are buying things based on logic, but they're primarily buying things based off an emotional response. And what way to better trigger that than a beautiful image? So I just wanted to quickly go over product photography. I wanted to show you a new way to look at some of the other factors that go into succeeding on Amazon for the marketplace. And it all starts with having a captivating image to draw in an emotional response from your Amazon customers, okay? So that covers this training, guys. I just wanted to make a quick video for you. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Like this video, leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys on the next video.